everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mari Yume and today I'd like to talk about the 10 most important things that I think a VTuber should be doing or should know. The first most important thing that every VTuber should have is a concept sheet. It's really important to come up with some kind of character reference sheet to have a general idea of what your avatar is going to look like. It doesn't even matter if you end up just making a stick figure and just smearing colors all over the page giving some kind of indication of what goes where. This is really important because if you can visualize what your character looks like, it'll be a lot easier to create your character later on. And it's totally okay if you want to end up changing your design later on. Sometimes you may think that one thing might look good, but then later on, you were thinking that was a complete dumb idea and you want to scrap it. My second most top important thing that every VTuber should have an idea of is being unique and just being you. It's kind of important when you're deciding your character sheet if you want to be a PNG reactive streamer, if you want to be a 2D streamer or a 3D streamer. When you finally decide on somewhat of a concept and what kind of avatar model you end up wanting for yourself, it's really important that you make yourself unique and stand out amongst the rest. I just thought, you know, you should all look at his butt. I thought that'd be interesting. What? It's not my fault he has a flat ass. One good rule of thumb is to try to come up with some kind of word or concept that might describe you. And I'm not just talking about something general like, oh, you know, I'm cute or I'm cool. It's really important to think about how to summarize your persona in some kind of short iconic sentence. That way you leave some kind of impression when people come see you and it makes it hard for you to be forgotten. For example, maybe you're a super cute looking bunny nurse, but your personality is that you're secretly a yandere. So instead of using words like cute, you can use words like nurse, bunny, yandere. Yandere, nurse, bunny. That's a lot more memorable than just saying simply that you're cute. The third most important thing that every VTuber should have is making a social media account. It doesn't matter if you end up having one or if you have 10. As long as you make at least one social media account somewhere on a platform, Platform so you can start increasing your brand's appearance. It makes you seem a lot more authentic. The fourth most important thing that every VTuber should have is being concise on your debut date for your model. It is perfectly okay to not have a specific date for your model right away. Maybe you're going to be in the pre-debut phase where you're still playing and trying to get your footing on the ground on this whole VTubing thing. However, you should have some kind of general sense for some date when you actually want to go live and it's really important to hype the heck out of it. This is how you're going to get people excited for when you're finally going to be debuting your model. Number five, identifying exactly what your targeted audiences are. This might be a little confusing to someone who might be just starting off as a VTuber. However, it is important to have an idea of what kind of people you want to attract into your inner social circle. Maybe you're going to be somebody who is a VTuber on the say-so side. So you want to surround yourself with people who are much more wholesome, people who are family friendly. You might want to attract a more younger audience, potentially. Having a general idea of what kind of people you want to attract around your inner circle is going to greatly improve your brand awareness and also what your social battery can handle as being a VTuber. You have to be very social. This is also going to give you an idea on what kind of content you should be posting based off of the people you are trying to attract. The sixth most important thing every VTuber should have is having your brand displayed in a concise and identical manner. What I mean by that is using the same fonts, colors, and username in all the platforms that your content is displayed in. People need to be able to instantly recognize you and remember you. This goes back to my earlier point about trying to have some kind of iconic statement to describe yourself. If people can remember you, then they will always refer to you and come back to your content and they'll always think of you whenever something reminds them of you. Number seven, it's not really important to have the best out of the state equipment for VTubing. You don't need to have a VR set. You don't need to have the best microphone. You don't need to even have a webcam to VTube. However, it is important to understand and use the equipment you do have efficiently. What do I mean by that? You need to know how to actually stream tech your own stream. And you can start that by learning the program that you're going to be using to stream, whether it's OBS Studio, it's going to be Streamlabs OBS, XSplit, there's tons of them. Furthermore, it's also important to have 
a good understanding of the VTubing application you're going to be using, whether it's VTube Studio, VC Face, the API Live, VUP, etc. You don't want to be fumbling around trying to figure out how to make sunglasses appear on your avatar. Number eight is something that every VTuber needs to do and it really is a huge pet peeve of mine that they don't. And that's crediting your artists. Yeah, that's right. Crediting every single thing that is being used for your VTubing career. Did you get that shirt on Booth? Credit your artist. Did you find that hair preset on DeviantArt? Credit the artist who made that. Don't be a jerk. If you didn't make it, please give credit where credit is due. Even if the artist says that they don't need to be credited, you should still credit them because why would you not want to drive traffic and other people to that content creator and help that person grow their business? Don't be a jerk. Number nine, make engaging content by being engaging. What do I mean by that? I mean, make content that people care about and make sure that you're also caring about other people's content. If you're using Twitter constantly, go on there and talk to other VTubers. Talk to other people who make some kind of content creation within the similar niche as you. Are you someone who plays Apex all the time? Go in different Apex communities on there and talk to other people who are in that community. Actually take the time out of your day to say hello to at least one person. Be here in the present with us. There's a lot of people who just think that if they are a VTuber and they just post their content that people will come flocking over to them and just start idolizing and drooling over them and that's not always the case it's very rare for something like that to happen honestly you need to get off your high horse you're not a celebrity and unless if you are introduced to the community through some other higher status person where you can piggyback off of their fame it's probably a good idea to not act like you're already famous treat people how you would want to be treated be the charismatic VTuber that you're always meant to be. And last but not least, the 10th most important thing that every VTuber should be doing is having fun. Because, I don't know, what's the point in doing all of this if you're just going to go take this whole VTuber thing out back and shoot it like Old Yeller because you're frustrated and angry at the world? Like, I don't know, I just, I feel like you really need to not overthink it so much. Like, have some fun with all of this, you know? This is your life, your time that's being put into creating your VTuber and being a VTuber and being a part of the VTubing community. So make it worth your time. Enjoy yourself and make sure that no matter what, at the end of the day, you're doing this for you. I hope any of you who are out there watching this video really enjoyed the 10 tips that I put on here. Please let me know down below which tip is your favorite. If you think the information I shared in this video is just complete bogus and you think that you're information that you would have or the advice that you would give to an aspiring vtuber is much better feel free to comment your points down below i would love to hear them honestly i'm still learning a lot about vtubing as well and i love seeing and hearing what other people think about the vtubing community and what they do to kind of help them become more associated into the community and if you like these types of videos let me know about that down below in the comment section as well and i'll gladly make more i really don't mind i get a lot of questions about vtubing all the time and i've only been vtubing for a couple of months so i'm still very new to this but if you enjoy this kind of content then i will gladly make more for you thank you so much for watching everybody and i hope that you have a wonderful day mm -hmm.